Welcome to Ask Phoebes, a weekly address where your questions on crypto and zero chain are answered. I thank you for joining me. Now let's hop into things and don't forget to, answer, to download your zero box app today. What's going on guys? We're trying that new intro out. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments section if you like that one. Um, so uh, yeah, huge week, huge week, huge week, and um, it's been a grind this week, and then a grind um, leading up to this week because uh, basically what happened was Alphanet and Zerobox uh, was launched, and um, and it, it kind of marks, in my opinion, the first first real time where. People can see that you know we're not a scam, <laughs> uh, and um, or actually you can convince people that we're not a scam uh, because there is a severe oversaturation of um, unfulfilled promises, um, um, a lot of a lot of um, over exaggeration on uh, performance metrics and you know what what uh, what what all of these blockchain projects are going to accomplish and it's it's cool to be able to just tell someone you know have you heard of zero chain if not go check out the zero box app go download it go to our website download it and play with it now you can see how storage can be used on the blockchain or integrated into the blockchain and it can do it in a fast uh, in, in a fast easy to use manner it it i think i think if you haven't really processed it yet the 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 big thing to take away from this is you could go tell your grandma to go and download the app and she could probably figure out how to upload a photo on the Zerobox app and you can't do that with any with any other any other uh, like DAP right now, in my opinion, that, that unless I have, obviously there's a lot out there, but everything that I've used up to this point has required a lot of barriers to, um, or, or just a lot of friction with, you know, y you need like, for, let's take Augur for example, you need rep tokens, you need to download and sync their entire um, interface. And, um, and, there's all of this stuff, whether it's acquiring crypto, learning how to use or, or sync it, one of their apps or having the patience to do it. Um, so long story short, it's been um, it's it's an awesome accomplishment, but there's still a lot uh, a lot a lot of work ahead. You know, we have to we have to improve our footprint in this space because there is a lot of um, it's, it's very incongruous with regards to you know how much we're we've we've actually delivered um we've we've delivered something that nothing else has and um or no other project has and there there, there there just isn't a lot of um no one really cares um you, so you have to get really creative with marketing it's 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 really, um, it was really an interesting experience for me because you start to, you know, you kind of start to realize that people don't really care about, you know, the the progress of crypto in general, or the blo or public blockchains. They care more about is my crypto progressing, as opposed to crypto, the crypto space in general. So what you're seeing is, you know, if if you say you know, go download this app and go check out Zero Box or Zero Chain, people are like, "Oh, this 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 is a shit coin. Uh, it's never going to amount to anything." And it you it's it's literally an a blockchain based storage app that hasn't um it it like there there isn't anything like it. So it's um yeah so we just got to do a lot more marketing um because that's just the nature of the crypto space. It's it's very um, uh, tribalist. Um, so, you know, people, you have to break that barrier of getting people to look at, um, at, at, at projects outside their little echo chamber of, um, 
you know what's within their portfolio so yeah it's it's that's what i love about crypto is that you're learning a lot always and it there's it's a, this is an entirely new ecosystem and there's different um there's different like i don't know you know tendencies with each different um like like it, it defies a lot of, 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 of logic, like what I was just describing. And, you know, you, you start to learn about that. And it makes a lot of sense because you're attaching someone's investment into the, into, you know, the, they might believe in the crypto space, but they also have a vested interest in what, you know, what they're holding. So that that's different than, you know, um, the cash app where, the, you know, Jack Dorsey's cash app where you just download the app and you use it. You don't really have a vested interest in that app or competing apps, really. It's not like you hold equity in Venmo where you are resistant towards the cash app. You just don't really care. So people are more interested in, in, in they have all of that vested interest in their own crypto project. So once we get past that barrier, it'll be, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're past the hard part of delivering the tech and now it's more about, you know, getting some recognition for it. So, um, so I'm going to do things a little bit different on this one. There wasn't really a lot of questions at all in the red thread. Um, and, um, this is more just going to be kind of a, a review on, you know, some Alphanet stuff and, um, and, you know, kind of talk about what the future what lies in the in the future with with you know how we're going to roll things out and you know what what all what all we're doing to prepare for you know these next phases in debate and so on and so forth so um yeah let's kind of um let's let's just go into these these highlights all right so um the 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 first thing that i wanted to kind of chat about is uh alphanet so just kind of our blockchain and the, the great thing about our, our blockchain is uh, that's really sets us apart is the finality. So if you go on to zerochain.net and you click Alphanet, you'll be, you'll, you'll be linked to our, our blockchain explorer, our block explorer. And um, this might be stating the obvious, but you know, so what what's common with uh, almost all blockchains out there is you know one one to or maybe five to ten transactions per second uh, for most proof of work blockchains is common um, but then also you have to wait for the, your, your transaction to be finalized um, and then you also before it can be you know once it's accepted and and, and, and published on the blockchain um, you have to wait for those confirmations, you know, eight to 10 confirmations, sometimes um, 30 confirmations um, on a, a um, uh, like for a, like a Binance deposit. These are, this takes a long time. It can take, you know, it can take 20 minutes for to actually be considered a final transaction. Um, and then other, the other thing too is, is before the, the transaction is sent it's you know it can it can spend two minutes in the pending state before it can even start getting confirmed so this this is what we refer to as like latency so from the moment that you click send how quickly is it accepted by the by your miners finalized and then uh, published onto the blockchain and and accepted as a permanent transaction on the ledger this this is a process that is a huge problem with with the blockchain um, industry right now. Everyone talks about how it's so slow and you can't really run anything useful off it yet. And that is completely true with a, a lot of the the current um, the current kind of consensus protocols out there. But the, so the, the why I'm saying this is you're going to notice on the Alphanet, you're going to notice we, right now we're programming it in at 100 transactions per second. Reason why we're doing that is, you know, we can go faster. So Swata even said we can go up to 10,000 transactions per second. But this makes things ch challenging from 
a, a transaction ordering perspective and from a latency perspective. So if you if 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 you can dial down your the transactions per second, you get it's it's it it's a lot less blockchain bloat. So you're not you're not running into the same issues um, as you would with you know 10,000 transactions per second because imagine that many transactions at once that a blockchain has to order them in sequence so if you're basically spamming 10,000 transactions at once that that's a lot to to order properly and especially if you're storing data you it like we're, we're in an alpha state and we want this to be smooth so if if we're trying to go you know full throttle with 10,000 transactions. It's not that it can't be done. It's just, it, we, there's no point to, to have it, have that many transactions per second, other than the fact that most of the crypto space fixates on, um, throughput with, with throughput, meaning transactions per second when they should be focusing on latency. So the first thing is with that is, so 100 transactions per second is plenty. It's a lot. It's, I mean, you can see on the, like on the, on the block explorer, how many transactions that is. So that's, it's, it's a lot. Um, but the, the other thing is latency that I've been talking about. And latency is basically like, how quickly does this transaction get published? And then, you know, since since we have instantaneous finality, the we 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 call it finality on the alphanet. Let me um. Oh, the other cool thing. Sorry to um, change topics briefly, but the uh, the crypto market's just rifling right now. Um, yeah, Bitcoin just broke fifty three hundred again. And uh, Ethereum broke through the Golden Cross, which is very promising. You guys could be seeing a, um, a nice, the start of, a, at least a lot of technical traders are saying that this is the end of the bear market. So um, just based on like these moving averages. So like you have a trend for, the, you know, um, let's say 200 days, they call it that like the trend of where the market's going, the moving average, they call it. And then the, the short term average in the past like month has been s trending significantly upwards. And they, it's actually crossed, it's, it's, it's went above the moving average of the 200 day average. So they call it the golden cross. Um, I'm not I'm not a TA guy at all, but that's just what the TA guys are saying. And sometimes they're actually some of these signals are trying to be right. So I digress. Um, so yeah, on the Alphanet Explorer, you'll see it called uh, the it it's called finality instead of latency. But they're they're very similar. And the thing that you just want to know with both of them is all it really is indicating is how long it'll take your transaction to get published and finalized on the blockchain. And our finality speed is sub second, which is insane. And that is the biggest, biggest selling point for zero chain. And that's kind of what we architected our blockchain for was to have fast finality. And that's reason why is so you guys can upload your files, videos, um, and, and we, so we can do streaming in the future. And that, yeah, so that's, that's why we have these features um, on our consensus protocol and it's been going very smoothly. And that's, so we, you know, we're, we're gonna get into zero box in a second, but you know, like, well, you might've experienced some issues with zero box, but the nice thing is there, that's more syncing and um, like just very fixable issues, but our consensus protocol, you want your consensus protocol to be very, to not have errors or issues. And, uh, and it's been very, it's been running without a hitch. And we saw that in the DevNet as well. It, it's been, um, it's, it's, it's been very smooth. So that, 
is very, very promising. Um, so that, that kind of addresses the alphanet. If, if you guys haven't, go to um, zerochain.net, check out the alphanet, um, create a wallet, do some test sends with, you know, go to the, the, the faucet. And um, if, you, if you don't have a link to the faucet, just go on the Telegram and ask for one. The faucet will give you some ZCN. It'll pour some ZCN, some fake ZCN. It'll pour some ZCN into your wallet, and then you can you know, start sending and, and testing that side of things out. Um, so the, the blockchain is looking good. All right, so zero box, and this is what really sets us apart from any other blockchain project out there, and that's the, it's the zero box app. And that's, that is the big feature that was introduced this week. And um, if you haven't downloaded it yet, please do download it and test it out. Um, not just because it's awesome, but also because it, it, we want we want to address any errors that that um, that people encounter. So, um, you know, we we launched and there was a ton of good feedback. People were having some errors, like uploading um, anything beyond 10, um, 10 megabytes, and now that I don't believe that's an issue anymore after our, our update that we released. And um, so the, the more feedback you can provide, the better the app will be. So please keep trying stuff, upload massive files if you want. Um, and then, um, yeah, so this, this part will be kind of like um, a combo about Xerobox and then marketing, um, which yeah, I mean, there's not much else to describe about about the Xerobox app other than the fact that we, you can upload the files, your videos and images, and then the other thing too is the the share link aspect as well, and the share link just allows you to share your content with others, and it when you share it, it'll prompt you to download the app, and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we're working on with um, with regards to I'll just sweat us calling me right now, <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll wrap this up pretty quickly. But the, yeah, so there's a lot of things that we're working on with regards to uh, like the share link features because we have a lot of creative things in store for getting this app to go viral, and part of it is with storage allocation. So we want to um, we want to incentivize people to share uh, content and do, utilize the share link to do so because when you open the share link, it prompts you to download the app. And what we'll, what we're going to try to do is once the once we go from test flight to app state, which means instead of having to download the Xerobox app off test flight, you will just be able to download the Xerobox app off the Apple Store. Once we get to that point, then we'll be able to track downloads um, with, you know, unique, the, we, can, we can give you credit for referencing um, or referring people to download the app, and then we can reward you with some storage. So we're working on a strategy to reward people that are getting others to download the app, and we're going to try to do that through ShareLink. So, um, and then what we mean is if you share it and, you know, um, your dad, your whole, say you got 10 family members to download the app, uh, will reward you with, you know, some extra storage. And then I'm also working on, you know, some, some bounties as well. So like, you know, we can have like a contest for, you know, most app downloads wins X amount of ZCN. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be finalizing but it's just so much at once um we there's so much i want to do but um but you know we we want we're kind of waiting on things like like getting into the app store to roll some of this stuff out so um so yeah you'll be seeing a lot more bounty stuff and um, that'll tie into marketing um but we're also working on uh you know partnering with certain people and um, companies that can you know help get our get the word out that way as well and um, and yeah it's it's a really easy thing to market but we gotta we gotta start ramping it up so yeah that's uh, that's your box right there
All right. Um, and then, um, then the last thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, for my squad, for my, my service provider squad, the miners, the blobbers, the charters. Uh, but we're, we're working on, we're, we're really close to being ready to get people mining. Um, and we want to have a good amount of service providers ready to go on, uh, like for beta net. And there's, so Swata said there's, you know, probably going to be like a two week turnover to get, um, to get people's rigs up and running. So there, uh, this could change, but I, I just wanted to kind of give, uh, a general outline, um, for people who are, especially for people who are, you know, ready, to, ready to, uh, to lock in, um, some, some, some rigs. So the first thing is if you can go to zerochain.net in the service providers section, you can kind of, we, we, it's there, you can't really click on anything, but you can click on like get become a miner or something. I can't remember what the exact link, but you can click on it and you'll kind of see, um, a couple options that you can do so you can get, uh, you know, your MSB rig, and then you can select service support. And uh, yeah, there's just like a couple options there. So the, the first thing is we're the, we have our service provider brochure though, the, there will probably be some updates to that because we're, we're still finalizing pricing. Um, but the, the first, in order to get the beta net running nicely with the, you know, the bandwidth that the team has, um, like the attention span, um, we're going to probably start out just offering the MSB rig, especially since the M rig is pretty basic. Like you, you, it's not going to, like anyone can pretty much try mining with just with a laptop. So we want to focus on getting the blobbers up and running because that is key before we switch to mainnet. We're, we're still going to offer all of the rigs that we advertise in the brochure, but to start, it'll probably just be the MSB rig. So there's a couple things. So we'll have the MSB rig for sale. And then, you know, if you get, let's say, let's just go with, without too much details, let's just go with kind of like the, the main package, the one that I'm going to get and that most people are going to get. Um, you're going to get the MSB rig, built by zero chain and then you're going to get the uh, the service support package where they build it test it um, install the software deploy it to a colo facility in san jose um, near their offices and then they uh, you know they you you get their support where they're uh, they they don't insure it but they they do make sure that it's running properly um, so throughout the course of the year and that service for support fee will also the, the co-location fee, the monthly fee, um, for electricity and internet and just the servicing it at the facility that will be baked into the service support fee. So essentially what it'll come down to is it'll probably be like, you know, when it's all said and done, it might be like eight K. 9k i don't know i don't know the final tally but where how we're arriving at that number is it, it's like it's going to be like five to anywhere between five to seven k for the msb rig and then anywhere between you know it, it comes out to like three thousand per year for the service support it's divided up monthly and um yeah so it, whatever I, I, my, I'm having a brain fart, but yeah, it, it's pro, it, like 3000. It's a little over, you know, maybe like two comes out to like 220 a month, um, 250 a month. That's for everything. Um, but the, it's going there. We're only going to offer this as a, like an annual package just cause we just don't have the, we want to get everything rocking and rolling and we're going to have like more payment options like probably pay through be able to pay through crypto and then um you know maybe like a monthly option where you don't have to pay everything up front but 
this is just to get everything going right away. So you'll it'll it'll basically be you can buy the service support and then for like three grand ish and then you know the the uh, the MSB rig too, and that's it comes out to like under I don't know anywhere between like seven k to nine k. That might be the like the end the end cost. Um, so that's, yeah, so that's kind of the breakdown of, you know, what we'll be offering, um, to start. The question might be, you know, why would I buy it right away? What's the advantage? Well, the, there, we're going to, we're working on the exact details, but it'll probably be anywhere between like, a you know, five to 20% early bird discount and, um, for buying and then we're also brainstorming an interesting concept with um, a ZCN giveaway where you know we'll probably look at like matching so if you spend 8k matching dollar for dollar with ZCN so if you spend 8k on a rig we'll give you 8k ZCN and then I mean that's at market right at market rate with our very, very low market cap right now, that's in itself, that's like over $500 in ZCN. So that's, um, yeah. So we're working on creative stuff like that where being an early bird purchaser will be very beneficial. Um, but so that's kind of like the the rundown on mining. I, I, I wanted to give you guys an, uh, an update on, you know, where we're at with that because it'll be coming soon. And I, I know that uh, Siswat is basically just working on those final details, and then we'll then we'll we will definitely be announcing how to um, how to roll that out. So that uh, that pretty much does it for this week's episode. The um, you know next week will be Siswata Siswata's AMA, so we'll get that going, and um, yeah, get people to download the Zerobox app. We need it. Boom. Bye. <laughs>